And a lot has been happening in the world of AI, and we have talked about that consistently here on this channel and all of my socials. You all know how I feel about AI. I think it's an incredible opportunity for us as a species. There are some things that I've been saying that are a little bit controversial in talking about AGI, the evolution of AI, and some things about our models. Let's talk about models for a minute. If we think back historically, we have human, as human beings, we've created models for just about everything. The way that we educate our children, the way that we serve those who are ill and in need of our assistance, the way that we govern ourselves. These are models that we did not create ourselves. They were not created in the modern age. You and I were not involved in the creation of these models, yet we are subjected to these models each and every day. We believe that these things are the foundation of our society, and in many cases they are. They have brought us this far as a species, but that does not mean those models will continue to serve us as well as they have in the past. We can't look at something like education and just assume that more money or better attention or better training will somehow magically fix the fact that we aren't educating people appropriately anymore. People are coming out of high school, they're coming out of college, and they are lacking the skills and the critical thinking to be able to operate effectively inside our environment. Our marketplace has plenty of solutions built upon these foundational principles, yet we need to question, is the model correct? When we think about models like education, or healthcare, it's very difficult for us to imagine the system being anything different than it is today. We are focused on resources, not on if the actual model itself works. For over 4,000 years in healthcare and medical practices, the model was bloodletting. If you had a problem, if you needed help or assistance, Physicians around the world cut you and let you bleed out. George Washington, when he was very sick, asked for four pints of blood to be removed from his body. And his doctors helped him do that. Soon after, he died. Just because we did it for 4,000 years, just because no one argued that it didn't make sense, doesn't mean it was right. So here's my challenge for you as we go through the next months and years where AI is becoming more prevalent. AI is going to be able to take data that we have and extrapolate upon it in ways we never thought possible. Just this morning, there was a congressional hearing, and in that hearing, they talked about how the charge levels of phones are maybe a better determiner of credit worthiness than your actual credit score. That's not the first time that's come up. A Chinese company discovered this with AI about six months back. The amount of charge on your phone, how often you charge your phone, what percentages your phone stays at charge throughout the day is a great indicator of credit worthiness. Why? Candidly, we don't know. We can guess. Maybe it means you've got a stable place to sleep at night. Maybe it means that you're responsible. We're not really sure. AI models in many senses don't even know why they're telling us to do the things we're doing. They're looking at large, incredibly huge data lakes of information and data warehouses, and they are finding little tiny trends inside of those things, things that are so microscopic that the human eye cannot understand them and can't see them. So as we move forward over the next months and years, I would encourage you to be open about thinking about new models. Education is an easy one to point out. Maybe, just maybe, the model we're using of sending kids off to school with teachers in buildings and curriculum is wrong. Maybe there's a better way. 
I'm not saying we should throw the baby out with the bathwater. What I am saying is that we should consider that we might need to test the models to determine if they're still applicable today. If we throw out a model like bloodletting, that does not mean that, well, it does in the case of bloodletting, that it didn't work. It just means that with new information, we found a new way, a new approach in order to obtain efficiency. I've made some comments recently about empathy as well, and I want to talk about this. Empathy and charity are quite difficult for us as human beings. See, we want to help other people. We want to be empathetic to the situation and the plight of the poor. We want to serve the person that has been injured or needs help. We want to help our homeless. We want to help those people that are hungry or they have a drug addiction. Up to this point, we've approached those things in a very empathetic way. I'm not saying that that's wrong. But what I am saying is we need to challenge the models. Maybe, just maybe, our approach so far has been somewhat off. And we need to rethink the way that we address these problems in our society and see if we can find more efficient models that get better outcomes for everyone. It's very easy to look at one small sick child and say we should prioritize him or her. But it is a different thing when you understand statistically by elevating that person through the system, what the costs are to dozens of other people that also need care. I know this is controversial. I know I'll get some hate comments. That's okay. My goal here is to challenge you to think differently about every aspect of our society because the quantitative capabilities of AI are about ready to expose some things in our belief structure that we might have to throw out. Just like the bloodletting of old, we may find ourselves three, six, or 12 months from now reconsidering the foundations of our society. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a great thing to encourage people to think critically about the world, to think critically about what our belief structures are, and maybe we can find a better path forward. I'm Derek Maines. I hope you subscribe to The Convergence. I really do. We have great conversations each and every week about AI, its impact on society, and how it's going to change everything. Okay, until next time.